Hello and welcome back to another series of Your Raw and this is probably going to be the last one for a little while I think. Um, so um, I've had another image sent in by one of the, uh, a friend of mine actually and uh, a member of the uh, Facebook group, um, Colin Powell. It, we've been out a fair few times now and um, in his campus and we've visited one or two different places we always have a good time together and he's, um, he's kindly sent me in a couple of images so I'm going to pick one image to process and the images from Landwin Island on the island of Anglesey and I've been here a couple of times myself and the last time I went there I was actually that poorly, that ill that I, I couldn't actually move from the bench from the main subject there. Um. First of all, I'm going to apologise for the lack of energy in this video. But what I like about this image is, it's, I've never seen this composition from this location, and I love it. So, and I've chosen this one because I like this and I like the sky in this one. So, and it's, um, it sent me two exposures. One exposure is at, sixth of a uh, yes yeah, six second exposure and the other is at a sixth of a second so we will blend them two images together we'll we'll edit them process them and i shall give you my sort of critique critique and thoughts on them okay so start with the first image this first image um, is the correctly exposed for the more for the foreground and then we've got the second image was it which is correctly exposed for the sky and it looks like what we've got in there oh it's a bit of, I thought that was a sea, um, sea lion or a dolphin then because <laughs> I've seen dolphins around there um, okay so we'll blend them two images together in Lightroom so I'm going to select the first image I'm, we could actually potentially probably just use the one image but what i'm going to do is we'll just select the two so if i hold my control key down and just select both images right click and we shall photo merge hdr we've merged the image and now we'll process that one image so we should have a lot more detail there so we'll bring the, the shadows up a fair bit. I'm just going to have a look at the noise in the image and it, it's pretty, pretty good actually. Let me get right in. Okay, so um, I don't think we need to use denoise or anything like that even though I've shoved the the uh, shadows right up as a fair lot of detail there so the next thing i'm thinking about is the sky so we'll, we'll drop down the our lights and try and bring some of that color out in the sky we're going to push this image to the limits i think i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a um i'm going to select the sky and we'll We'll let the let the AI select the sky, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract the bit that's caught round the, the actual old lighthouse or the, or the old beacon. So I'm going to select a brush, and if we just paint over that, that will remove anything round that, so it doesn't affect that part of the image there. I don't mind a little bit because it blends in nice, but I just still want that bit there. We'll leave that part of the um, where the C's been selected because we want it to blend in nicely. So we shall drop the exposure to about there. I'm going to up the DAs and see what the DAs does to bring that detail out. What we're going to watch is that halo around there. So I'm just actually going to drop that back down to somewhere there let's just drop the 
I think somewhere there is actually pretty good. And then what we'll do is we'll work it in a more. Um, let's switch that off. We'll, what we'll do then is do a more local adjustment on the areas that we want to bring out. So the image itself, it looks as if the horizon's absolutely bang on, but we'll just check that just to make sure. So we'll go to the crop, we'll select the um, the level tool, the little spirit level, select it across the there, it's moved it fractionally. So we'll, we'll keep that as it is. Um, the image itself, I really like it because my eye starts down in this area here and then we've come across the rocks up to the the beacon, the lighthouse and then, then we get drawn into this lovely um, colour in the sky. So I really like it. So that's where I'm going to do some dodge and burn, let's say, to bring your eye through. So what I want to do is actually lighten these these grasses up here some beautiful colors in the grass so we'll select another mask brush and we're gonna just up the exposure a little bit and then we're gonna bring them out like that especially these lighter colored grasses they look fabulous so we'll bring these lighter rocks out that are just there bring that patch in, just giving it the actual image a little bit of contrast. I'm just going to pick some of the lighter grasses out here. There. That really makes that stand out a lot more. And then there's some lighter rock there, so we'll bring that out. And then we're going to bring this side of the, the rock just out of touch. So we're just painting in. Again, we're, we're working towards the, the actual beacon. Okay, so we'll just work that in there it's one of them images that doesn't actually need particularly a lot doing to it um, I'll just push that up real real slightly what we'll do is we'll just come out and have a little look at the image that looks so much better so what I'm going to do I'll select another brush and we'll drop the exposure and we're just going to Again, I've said it so many times, but I'm just going to paint me a little vignette in. And all I'm trying to do is draw your eye into where I want you to, to look at. So, I'm just going to darken them clouds there. And that brings it a little bit more punchy. There, there we go. There we go. Um, Deselect the mask. I'm just going to up the contrast to give it even more of a punch, and that already looks pretty much job done. There's a couple of things I want to do. So if we come back in to the image, I'm going to get rid of this that little bit of rock or whatever it is that's sticking out there. So I'm, what I'm doing now is just getting rid of some of the distractions. So we'll have it. We will use the um, content to where we move on the um, in Lightroom. And we'll just move them to. Oh, went a bit mad there. Never mind. It's still done. <laughs> still done a good job. We'll just. I'm just gonna go there. It's that little white rock that and sort of I keep getting drawn to that little white rock. Believe it or not. Um, so I've removed that there, and I can't actually see anything. There's a little dot there. Might be a bird. Okay, there's the things I've wanted to remove. I'm not sure if that one's actually removed down onto it, so I'm going to delete that one. Yeah, it's not done what I want because I messed up. So we'll just do that one again. There we go. That's better. That's better. Actually, I'm going to zoom in because it's left a bit. Uh, yeah, it's left a couple of. While I've zoomed in, we can see like little boys and things, so I'm actually going to get rid of those. So we'll get rid of these little dots.
Okay. Just come out from there. That's better, it's cleaner. So I'll come back out again. Oh, that's a lovely image. What I want to do is add a little bit of vibrance, something that I don't normally do, but I'm going to add some vibrance. Because I love these colours here. But I might just drop down saturation slightly. There we go. The other thing I might do is just warm the image up just slightly. So I think it, there we go, because it's bringing that, that colour out in the sky, that warmth in the sky, so, which I quite like as well. So what I'm going to do is to try and bring a little bit more of that warmth in, is just play around with the colour sliders and the um, saturation and lumin luminance and things like that. So when we're looking at these these reds, I love these reds. So let's let's just see what it does without too much just punching up and I love the greens as well, but I wanna them greens to be a bit lighter so luminance I'm gonna up the luminance of the greens and the yellows because I quite like that. The blues, the blue sky I think is too blue, so I'm gonna drop down the saturation and I think that's more of a natural look rather than that blue where you get that bluey grey so I just drop down the saturation in the for the blue sky which I quite like um, we'll just come back into the image I'm just going to as well soften the black slightly just bring them blacks down let me come back out Oh, I like that. That's nice. So I'm. I think what I'm going to do is bring these rocks out a little bit of dodger burn on them again. Now I'm. I'm going to look at it. Um, so select again another brush. I'm just going to up the the whites and the um, exposure. And I just want to bring this this rock formation out. Now don't worry if we've we've sort of overdoing it at the minute because we can calm it down. And in a way, it's a good way to do it because then you can just either move the sliders or do the amount. So that is quite good. I want to just highlight this that beacon a touch there, just in the middle where the light's been catching it in the middle, and then it's it's shaded each side. So I look quite like that. But I'm just going to drop the amount down there now, just a little bit. The other thing I'm going to do is. Again, another brush tool, and I'm going to select uh, texture. I'm going to up the texture, and just sort of again, just just apply some rather dull. There we go. Just gonna, just going to apply a little bit of texture to where again, where I want the eyes to look at. So we're not just using light; we're using texture as well. To sharpen that area. That is a stunning image. I like that. I think I'm just going to darken this corner up a little bit, but lighten that sand. So if I select the previous mask, which was a just to bring them highlights up, I just like that that colour of that sand there, and make another brush just for um, I'm just going to down the blacks and the exposure a little bit just to bring that your eye away from that okay I think I think that's the image done so we have a look at before and after so that was the before and after wow what a difference that's made oh absolutely love it so I don't really don't think there's anything more we need to do I'm just gonna come into the actual image itself and have a look 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 at them plants there oh god stunning we'll come back out what I might just do is add a little bit of saturation to that area there Again, we'll select another brush. 
and just to up the saturation a little bit just to let, really bring these colours out because they are stunning and I'm sure in, in the daylight they would really stand out well so but obviously this the sun's nearly setting so we'll have a look at that now oh yes and I think I'm going to do one more thing and I'm just going to bring out the texture in that rock there so I'm just going to go for some more texture and I just want to bring out that texture in that rock I love love the um, the dark and the, the different layers in the rock formation as well that's really nice and I like how this this puddle here leads you up to the the uh, the beacon as well and I might just again now we're looking at it just lighten that water up slightly so up the exposure and again we'll just bring that highlight that puddle a little bit there okay composition wise I think it's perfect I think it's absolutely bang on the money uh, there's nothing else we can we can say about that it's got it smack smack on I love the way that we, as I drawn in from this right hand side with this with these grasses I love where it leads down and he's used this this little bit of backwater here and these rocks leading you up from from the bottom right hand third to the top left hand third I suppose what we potentially could do is just to get it more on that third is to crop this side maybe but I don't think there's need to we don't certainly don't want to get too close to these rocks here um, if we do crop you know we could we could bring that into about there and have that more on that third but if you have a look at the roll of thirds it's actually bang on from here to here so I don't think there's any need to crop it at all um, so I think everything works love that colour love that texture in the rocks and I love the sky okay Colin thank you so much for sending this image in it's a super super shot and I love like I say I love the composition because it's it's not one that I've ever seen from this location that's why I like it it's an absolute belter okay you hope you enjoyed this it's going to be a quick one this week thanks for watching i'll see you soon